Hey, time for another episode of Create This Book. I am going to start today with page 42. It says, create a collection, start a collection, document it here, draw it, photograph it, or attach it to the page. So obviously it's a page about your new collection. You could actually start a collection and take pictures of it and print out the pictures and put them on here. Or if your collection is actually small enough to fit in the book, like a sticker collection or something, you could put it on the page. Or if it's like a fantasy collection, um, you can just draw it. Um, that's, that's what this is about. page 96 it says create a progression draw something simple add to it continue adding until you can no longer tell what you originally drew if you actually do keep on adding and keep on adding it'll be something that's like it looks pretty abstract in the end and you might not be able to make out anything um, but that's okay that's kind of what this is about it's just like um, when you would normally stop Keep going because I'm doing this series I'm going to do this all in one go just sit down start and finish it um, but this could very well be something that you kind of come back to and keep on coming back to okay Page 156. Create a contradiction. Make up something contradictory. Hot ice, bright darkness. Draw it or write about it here. So this is just doing your best to put two opposite things together to form one new sort of meaning. Some new thing and then write about it or draw it or something like that. Well, obviously this page is probably not going to make a whole lot of sense, but do something weird with this page, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of liking this hot ice concept. I know I'm the one who put it in here, but I might go with that because I kind of like it. Page 145, create a flaw, draw, write, or design something here, insert an obvious flaw. If you look at like any of my pages, I'm sure you can see like a million flaws, whether they're obvious or not, there's always flaws there and they bother me and this is about 
creating something and purposefully choosing to put a flaw in it and it's like you kind of have to embrace it and um, forcing yourself to embrace this flaw may help next time you you create a flaw on an accident maybe it won't be so hard to get over it I don't know that was my thought process behind putting this in here setting. Draw some sort of setting. City, beach, mountains. Leave it empty. No people or animals. So the reason I chose to put this in here is because I think a lot of times we draw stuff and it's like there's nothing behind it. It's just like a person floating on a piece of paper and you forget all about the background and the whole setting and everything. So this is one of those things that gets you to focus on something that maybe you don't focus on very often. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then just try to ignore me and I will do the page right now. book upside down the prompt is upside down it says create an upside down page write or draw something on this page while the book is upside down and so you can either choose to like draw something falling or you know make it look like it actually is upside down or um, you can just draw something normal and just have a weird upside down page for no reason whatever you want is cool with me so Draw or attach a picture of your favorite outfit. It can be one you already own or one you would like to own. Be sure to explain why you love it so much. Comfort, style, color, etc. Um, you know, if you're not one of those 
beauty gurus who has like 10 million fashionable outfits. Just draw or document something that you think is comfortable. Or if you don't want to do something like that, make something fabulous from your imagination. Okay, let's get into that. and tell you a little bit more about them. So, page 42, create a collection. Um, and it's obviously not a real collection, but it is a, a drawn collection um, of rainbow things in little rainbow jars. It's a pretty simple looking page, I think, but I like how it turned out. It's kind of like um, pastel rainbow. It's not like really bright rainbow. The color pencils I use, I actually got some new color pencils because um, I was running out of certain colors um, and they're really cheap. They're a crazy art brand and they're, it was like $12 for 72, which is the cheapest color pencils out there like seriously but yeah these are like the pastel colors that were in there and they're so pretty vibrant so I'm pretty happy with them you just have to like kind of press down hard with them like my hand is kind of hurting and this page was truly a progression because I did not have the idea until like halfway through it um, but yeah so I just started with blue and I just drew a circle and then a square and then a triangle and then I repeated that over and over and over again until I created this really weird like pattern type thing um, and I did that with five different colors and it just it kind of looks like I just scribbled everywhere but there are actually shapes in there like every mark is part of a shape yeah so once I was done with repeating shapes in all these different colors. I, it just, it looked more like a background than a finished page, so I wanted to add something. So I decided to draw this like wacky looking girl and she's got blue hair and the whole page is like you're supposed to be adding and adding. So I drew her and then I added like a headband, added an earring, added feathers and blah blah blah. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this page and I think that the colors look really cool. And this page is so freaking complicated. This page took me forever and you probably can't tell but it just took me forever. Basically I had two conflicting ideas for this page and I couldn't decide on which one I wanted to do so I ended up kind of just doing both. But I really wanted to do like something like super formal and like bam like fantastical and then I also wanted to do like the opposite like just my regular clothes that I actually own that I wear all the time just because they're comfortable I did like the sort of fantasy version here um, I just did this girl in like this big dress that's like I did it with um, watercolor and I also used color pencil for some of the shadows I painted the background with some cheap Walmart acrylic paint and then I of course added my symbol there was a big blank space here so it kind of worked out so since I did this on a separate piece of paper I decided to make it so that it could actually open up like this I painted all of this pink and then I drew like 
actual clothing articles that I own and that I wear all the time, like stuff that I just throw on because I'm at home and I don't care. It does make this page very bulky though. And the reason is because I actually did this drawing on sketchbook paper, which is pretty thick. It's like, you know, nice quality paper because I didn't want it to bleed through. But it did bleed through anyway. So um, I didn't want like weird splotches on the back of this because it completely bled through. So I had to take an additional piece of printer paper and glue it on the back so that I could paint pink and you wouldn't be able to see any of those stains. It's kind of good that it's thicker because it feels more like durable. Um, but yeah, it did add quite a bit of bulk to the book. So this page was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I drew this spiral, colored it with colored pencil, and of course there are flaws in the spiral because it's a hand-drawn spiral and they're not perfect. So I did make little mistakes here and there, but nothing completely major. Um, but yeah, I finished it and it was beautiful and rainbowy and then I had to put a flaw on this page and I decided to go all out with this flaw and just be fearless. So I took some black paint and <laughs> right on this page. So there is a huge black stain on it now and ah, oh, it does make me feel like the little imperfections in my pages aren't that bad anymore. And if you did not see it, my symbol is there. It's just very tiny on this page for some reason. Sometimes the symbol is very large and sometimes you can barely see it. Um, I really like this spiral though. It's like all like wacky. It kind of looks like, like bicycle gears or something. That's not what it's supposed to look like, but I just kind of made it up. And the empty setting page. I'm realizing that all of these pages that I did for this episode, I really liked. Yes, it is very simply drawn and it's very basic looking, but honestly, I really struggle at like putting together landscapes from imagination. Like I can never figure out what looks good, to, what looks natural, you know? It's really hard for me. So I'm happy that I was able to do that and it looks, it's not bad. Like everything kind of goes together and it doesn't look completely weird, I don't think. I did do the sky in light pink. I know skies aren't usually light pink, but um, there was already quite a lot of blue from all the water and I wanted there to be a little bit more variety, so I just decided to make the sky pink, which I like. It doesn't look empty because there are like plants and rocks and all kinds of stuff, but um, it's a setting and it, there's no like subject. The upside down page, and I don't know about you, but I just love this page. And oh, I actually forgot to do my symbol um, when I did the final like look at the page. There's no symbol there, but I did add it after the fact. And I should have done it upside down, but it's actually right side up, which it's okay. It doesn't bother me. It's there, so that's all that matters. I drew all these girls. There's seven of them, and I drew their hair in like the colors of the rainbow, and their hair is just like going upside down. I didn't want their shirts to take away from the color of their hair. Uh, but I didn't want to leave them white either, so I just kind of shaded them lightly with this like gray. I think they're more detailed than I usually do for this small of a drawing, so I think that's why I like it so much. But yeah, I just like the concept too. This page, the hot ice. Yeah, it was a really fun thing to draw. I had no idea how to draw this, but I kind of just went for it. I did ice cubes here and then drew a fire on them, and then I did an ice cream cone here and did a fire on that, and then I did um, icicles kind of coming onto the page. I just thought that that would be good to tie it together, and of course the symbol is there, but a boom. Okay guys, I will be doing another one of these shortly, so look out. If you want to see more Create This Book videos, please go onto my channel and check out the other people. I have a playlist that I update constantly um, of the other people on YouTube who are doing Create This Book series, and there's a lot of really cool, there's a lot of people that are really good. So check them out. Alright, bye guys!